what's up youtube back with another video and today i got another custom series and this is the floppy series so just a bunch of plays with floppy action in it and when i think about floppy ray allen is a player that i think about so i featured him in a video but you can use this with pretty much any shooter that you want to free up for open shots and i even remember 2k used to have the floppy freelance and i don't know what year they got rid of it but even though when it was in the game it wasn't all that great but it had potential like they could have kept it and just built upon it instead of just completely removing it because a floppy action is like a basketball staple on all levels of basketball and it's been around forever and each team you know throws in their own little wrinkles and even as the game goes on each generation finds ways to switch it up and make it more efficient but yeah that's pretty much it for intro now i'm gonna get into the plays that i chose and setting it up so these are the plays and you can also see the play types on the right. So if you're looking for the plays, it will be under those play types. And yeah, there's like over 60 floppy plays on the game. So I had to narrow it down. Uh, I got down to 10. These are probably like the 10 that I like the most, but you can add whatever plays that you want. Or if you don't like a couple of these plays, you could take them away. You do whatever you want, but these are the 10 that I went with. And I'm gonna go into practice plays and go over them real quick. So first we got floppy curl mid two. And you'll see a uh, Michael Red, he gets a couple of screens come out to the wing. And then Ray Allen, he gets this screen. He curls around for like to the to the elbow. And so um for a lot of these floppy plays, like if you have a, a secondary shooter, um they can get open shots as well. As you can see right here. Again, Michael Red, he will get these two screens, and then he'll come out to the wing. So Whoever you have on your team that will be in this spot, he will be um, able to get some shots off of a lot of these plays as well. But, you know, I just let the play run. Ray Allen, he gets um, the screen and he curls around to like the elbow and he gets the mid range. Mid um, design mid range plays aren't really that great, but, you know, you can get some shots off. Next, we got 0 2 quick 13 floppy. And this is another mid-range play. So Ray, he will get these two screens. He'll curl around to like the mid-range area. But again, also pay attention to um, Michael Red. So Ray starts off on the block. Then Red and um, Johnson screen for him. And then he comes out to like, you know, the mid-range. He comes out to like this mid-range area. But also um, Tim Thomas screens for Michael Red. So got a potential three on this side as well. But, you know, I hit Ray Allen. On the mid range, you could also like push the left analog back to like make him take the three. So you got a three point opportunity as well. Next, we got 91 quick two floppy stack, and this is another mid range play. So Ray, he's gonna go down the middle, and then he's gonna either curl around to the left or to the right and get into the mid range. So if we watch it again, like I say, he's gonna go down the middle. He can either go left or right most of the times he's gonna go left and he'll get these two screens from tim thomas and Irvin johnson and he'll curl around to like the elbow mid-range area but depending on when you're passing the ball he can get out to the corner or you can pull him out to the wing it's up to you but right here he gets open in the mid-range and like i said he can also go right so this time he goes right gets the screen from michael red curls around to the mid-range again you can pull him out to the corner or you know the wing and get a three but right here he gets the mid-range next we got 04 floppy 12 hawk so ray he gets that screen you could potentially get a bounce pass off right there for a layup but then he just keeps going defense is too late and so if we watch it again like I said, you could potentially get this bounce pass off right here. Like if you hold the left analog up and manually throw a bounce pass, you can like, you know, you could throw the pass. So it'll be like right here. So he could potentially get get a layup. But I just hold the ball. Tim Thomas, he screens for you. So depending on how they play this, you could probably get this shot off. Like right here, he goes under the screen. I could probably shoot this, but I just wait for Ray and uh, he gets these. Uh, floppy screens and I thought I thought a pass a little bit late like like with especially like with these like floppy plays or just any off ball uh, screen plays you want to make sure your passes are on time 
passes a little bit late. I probably could have threw it a lot sooner, but um, I'm still able to create enough space. Like this is way more than enough space for a shooter like Ray. And I knock down the three. The next play is 05 Dallas quick 23 floppy. And so Ray, he'll get these two screens. He'll come out to the wing. He gets open on the three. Michael Red also gets a screen after Ray as well. So Ray, he'll get his two screens. And then uh, Michael Red gets his screen. He comes out to the wing. So you got two potential three-point opportunities with that play. Next, we got 91, quick two, floppy two. And this play might be my favorite. Not necessarily because it's the best, but just aesthetically. Like, this play defines Ray Allen with how much he moves on this play. And so right here, you see him starting on the elbow, and then he'll get the screen from Michael Red come out to, like, the baseline. And normally, like, you can make this pass, like, with other plays. Like, you can make a certain pass, and if you don't get open, the play will still continue the run. But with this play, if you make this, pla this pass, the play stops, which is kind of unfortunate because sometimes you might be able to get a shot off, but more times than not, you won't be open. So it would have been nice to, you know, make this pass and then pass it back if you don't get open. But... Um, you just hold the ball, then then um Michael Ray screens him again, and then he goes baseline and he gets another two more screens. So like I said, this play just defines Ray Allen and his off the ball movement, which is why I said it was my favorite. Next we got uh W fist floppy angle. And so Ray, he'll get his two screens. Um, Michael Red also gets that screen, but this is a pick and roll play, so it does end in a pick and roll. So after the after he runs through the screens, you can create a shot from the pick and roll. But more times than not, you'll probably get open on the screens for either Ray or Michael Red or whoever players that you're using. Next, we got W Quick One Floppy. And even though this is a three-point play, when I'm in practice plays, I can't call it for Michael Red or Ray for some reason. So right here, I'll call it for Sam. He starts on the wing, so you pass it up to the top. And then he will go under the rim. He gets the two screens from uh, Michael Red and Irvin Johnson. Comes out to the wing. And so I get open on the three. But also on the other side, uh, Tim Thomas, he will screen for Michael Red. As you can see right here, he's about to screen him. And so he will come out to the, the right wing and potentially get a shot as well. But like I said, I get open right here for on with Sam. And so I get the three. Next, we got W punch 24 floppy. And this is a postal play, but you can use it to get some wing threes. As you can see right here. And so I call the play for Urban Johnson, but um, you could get a shot with Ray. So he'll get this screen. And then he'll get another screen from Red. And then he'll get another screen from Tim Thomas. And, you know, like I said, you want to be on time with them passes. I probably could throw this pass a little bit earlier. But this is still enough space for a shooter like Ray. So I'm able to knock down the three. And I could also get a three for Red on this play as well. So, again, Ray, he gets his three screens, comes out to the wing. But then um, Irvin Johnson screens for Michael Red. He comes out to the wing, and the play is designed for him to catch it here and then just give him um, the ball in the post. But, you know, obviously, if, if you're open, you can take the shot or just, you know, run the play how it was designed, depending on who you have, and uh, play through the post. And the last play is 02 Quick 51 Floppy Give. This play actually has a lot going on, and I'll explain it more in a replay. And so right here, I call it for Sam Cassell, even though I did give Ray Allen handoff receiver priority. It I don't know why it doesn't show up for him, but uh, I pass it off to Ray, and then Pass it off to Tim Thomas. And then Cassell, he'll get this screen. So if you, you know, call this play for somebody that, that's athletic enough to catch lobs, you could definitely get some lobs off right here. 
but I just hold the ball and Ray, he gets this screen and you could get lobs off with this action too. It's just not as likely because sometimes, you know, when you throw the lobs, it'll kind of drag the player into the lob. So you can sneak in some lobs here and there, but it's not really all that consistent. And so I kind of wish he would like kind of move in a little bit so you could actually get the opportunity and then just like move out the way to let the play run. But uh, I pass it up to Urban Johnson at the top. And then Sam Cassell, he gets the floppy screens. So um, you got a potential three out here. But the play, like I said, it is a handoff play. So if you run it like how you run it, you do the handoff. And then right here, you know, I'll turn the corner. But as I'm doing this, um, Ray gets this screen from Tim Thomas, or at least he's supposed to be screening. And he'll come out to the wing. So you got a potential three over here as well. But right here, I take the handoff. You know, I get into the lane, hit him with a Euro, get a layup. But, um... With this play, I usually try to get this three right here because the handoff, like, is cool. But, like, I noticed a lot of the times, like, your defender, like, he could be trailing way behind most of the time and so get the three. But even if he is trailing and you get the handoff, like, he can kind of just bump you right here and just, like, literally just stonewall you so you can't really get past him. And so you're probably a lot better off trying to get this three. Unless, like, he, you're going to go up against, like, a bad defender and, like, you can kind of get some blow buys. But right here, like I said, I just hit him with a Euro, get a layup. And so for the setup, go to your offensive settings, play selection, and then just add, you know, the plays. I'm not going to add all of them. But you press right on the d-pad series fair play series and then um well starting starting the next possession each play um each time up the court the um a play from your favorite plays will run automatically or you can just not do it like that and just have it in your quick plays and call whatever play you want whatever time you want that's up to you so yeah that's pretty much it for the plays that's pretty much it for the video uh let me know how you feel about this series and as always, I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.